Hello friends, welcome to my next research video. You are with me, Dr. Raju Shekhar. You have learned uh, uh, conceptual framework. What is a conceptual framework? How to design a conceptual framework and all those things in the last couple of videos. Today, I'm going to talk about the continuation of those things. That's the next thing is called a theoretical framework. Why theoretical framework is essential? How to develop a theoretical framework? All those things we'll see in this video. Come, let's get started. See, actually, the, before conceptual framework, you need to have a theoretical framework because theoretical framework comes first. Next only conceptual framework will come. And we'll see how it works. First of all, you need to know what is a theory. It is a set of guiding principles or an idea to explain something. See, normally, if the videos are longer in duration, people tend to skip easily. People tend to skip quickly. It's a theory. Because they don't have the uh, patience to listen to the video continuously. So it is a general phenomenon. So similarly, it's a, just a, randomly I'm telling you, but there are some scientific, many theories are there. Look at the another important thing. Einstein's idea about relativity. It's an example of theory of relativity because he has proven scientifically how human being has evolved. Human beings have evolved from what you call animals, ape. So he used all the scientific uh, logical method to prove it. That's why it is a guiding principle, an idea to explain because he just like they didn't say that you are from this uh, animal, that animal. He has proved clearly, he has matched the physical features of the face, how we walk and all those things he has identified. There is a complete the theory of relativity. If you read, you will be able to understand. So it's a kind of a guiding principle to prove certain thing or to explain certain thing. That's what uh, basically theory. There are many theories are there in literary theories, sociological theories, psychological theories and linguistics theories and engineering theories, many are there. And we will take one example later and we'll discuss. And why? And another important aspect of theoretical framework, what it helps you, the theoretical framework, it dwells on a time-tested theory because now we have seen theory. Now it's a theoretical framework. It's very simple. A framework which has been built upon the theory, based on the theory, that is called theoretical framework. Because there are so many theories, as I was telling uh, no, previously, and you can take any theory according to your research and you will build the framework for the theory to test, to either prove or disprove or explain. And that, that uh, how to explain, just like that, see, I can say that uh, you are good and you can, if you listen to my video, you'll be good. No, it's not proven one. But in case somebody who has done a research on this, how much Rajshekar video is really helpful to the people. See, you can take some 10 videos of mine, you just uh, give it to the people, just let them watch it. Then you conduct a study, how much it is efficient, you just check their writing skill or probably you check their research skill. Then in case after your scientific checking, then you identify that it has given impact, then you can say that there is impact. But you don't find any impact, then you say that no, his videos are not really uh, know, creating impact. In that way, you will be saying that. So for that a guiding principle, you will have to use certain theory and accordingly you will be doing that thing. So to test the phenomena, and you need to have the theory based on the theory only you'll be able to scientifically test it. Look at the another one. The theoretical framework provides a general representation of a relationship between things in a given what you call a phenomenon. There are two phenomena. See one, they are uh, having high caliber of understanding the video. Another group they don't understand. Here you can prove that in case they have uh, habit of watching videos regularly, they'll able to, they'll be tend to grasp the information quickly. They are the only off and on and off they watch me, they'll not be able to have the capacity here because based on the practice empirical theory, the practice makes the man perfect. He has not practiced, so he gets less information. Whereas the other person practice high and he becomes obviously very good in the grasping the things from the video. This is what one a practice theory it tells that obviously if you watch long time 
you grasp more if you are watch less time you grasp less this is one thing you can you can prove it through that practical theory and another one what it does it examines and establishes theories that is already there in, uh, there and from that already established theory to try to either prove or disprove how will how it will do that it will critically examine that's a theoretical framework it will critically based on your research you will critically examine finally you will develop a new hypothesis or otherwise prove the hypothesis or disprove the hypothesis based on the theory theoretical underpinning on your work it is meant to be tested it can be you can take the full theory or a part of theory also you can prove it say if, for example if you take post modernism in english literary theory it takes it talks about two different thing one is hybridity see when you talk about hybridity is the one the theoretical concept see you can think about uh, i we, we live in india we live in uh, we use our own culture as well as hybrid british culture also the reason is because of the colonial impact we have hybridized ourselves we speak a local language but sometimes we behave like english people also because we want to speak only in english or not in the mother tongue because here hybrid of local as well as international it is called localization that kind of culture is there it is the outcome of colonial colonization it's outcome of post modern theory and you have another thing a concept called pashi and distorted what you call self so many things are there you can prove it when you read english novel drama the thing you can take one post modern theory complete theory you can take all the aspect of the one three few aspect or uh, only uh, full aspect you can use it you can uh, prove or disprove that's what the last one says you can take the entire theory or half of the theory you can either prove or disprove or create a new hypothesis based on the theoretical framework why theories or theoretical framework is essential very very important you without the theoretical support you if you say something in your research it is not valid that's why it increases the credibility of the qualitative data and the internal validity of your quantitative data see without theory if you say something it becomes there is no support for your claim but when you have when you say that this claim goes with this particular theory then your finding is proven it is accepted confirmed otherwise it is not accepted that's number 1 number 2 it may enhance the transferability of the findings from your qualitative data to to the what you call quantitative data analysis see let me say that in the qualitative data you do a cat case study you say that a particular student if he reads these many books in english he can improve the uh, english language uh, if he, he can speak very well then you identify this particular phenomenon from from your theory then probably you want to test it you can take the same thing you can test with the n number of students whether same results come from you can broad you can apply to the broad field whether it works so you can transfer the qualitative finding into the quantitative then you can do a what you call a large data analysis also you can do in case you don't have any theory proven theory you cannot transfer it and it increases the confirmability of your finding that's honest integrity of the find not integrity it is acceptability of your finding and objectivity of your findings also it is clearly understood uh, through the theoretical framework especially the quantitative data and uh, uh, very simple only if you prove you were finding through the theoretical support then only the scientific community will accept your research otherwise your your research whether it is qualitative or quantitative it is always question why should they believe you but when you give it your theory, your theory if you prove it they will be ready to accept you otherwise even though you have done a real work you have identified real thing without theory the research is not at all a research so please understand theoretical framework is very essential without having a proper understanding of the theory you can never ever do any research so that is a basic fundamental make sure that you understand theory you pre prepare it what you call clear theoretical framework for your research okay with this let me uh, sign sign you all sign you off i'll catch you in the next video bye bye